attention is that, as Brother Naveed alluded, I have been heavily involved with media groups, law enforcement groups, and other stakeholders in, in having discussions about the phenomenon of terrorism and extremism and radicalization. And everyone is asking, where is this coming from? Why do we have this? Why would a Canadian youngster be inspired to do something like this? So I don't want to get into the detailed discussions at this point, but I do want to bring to your attention that the issue is very serious. And it only takes one person to do something foolish, acting without wisdom, acting without knowledge, acting without guidance, and the damage that it, that it brings to all of us is unrepairable. What happened in Ottawa, for example, it damaged us, it crippled us. I felt like all of the work we had done from 9-11 up till this point had been completely erased and wiped out. It's like, here we go again. And now it's become like, it's become like a joke. When I go to the studios for, for news interviews, some of the staff just look at me like, oh, you're back. Aren't you getting sick of this? Aren't you getting tired of this? Every time something goes boom somewhere, you have to come and explain to us that no, 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 it's not Islam, it's not Islam, it's not Islam. I would like to transfer some of this responsibility to you people and request you to do a few things. Look, stay within the mainstream Islam. Stay within the mainstream. As long as you're in the mainstream, you are safe. If you go out into the nooks and crannies, if you go to the dark corners of society, Right? We don't know we don't know what happens there and we don't know what will happen to you over there. So stay in the mainstream. Stay with the main population of the community and keep your children there. This is very important. If you see someone preaching a message of division, if you see a person preaching a message of division, you stay away from them. It doesn't matter who he is how knowledgeable they are, how great of a speaker they are. If there is someone who's preaching division, you know that, that this is someone we're going to walk away from. Because at the end, who got radicalized? There were those people who somehow it was implanted in their mind that the whole Muslim world is at fault, and it's just us. We are a few freedom fighters fighting for the sake of Islam. You have to join us. Otherwise, you're also a Murtad, you're also a Kafir. The talks of division are what lead to serious damage down the road. And once you fall into that pit of division, we don't know where you're going to end up. And another thing I will request, and I have been saying this, is that please take responsibility for the internet usage in your homes. Okay, this is something you can control. This is something you can do. Our kids are getting the message of radical groups online. We don't have people in our communities going and recruiting anyone. It's not happening. It's all happening online. So please take responsibility for what happens under your roof. At least do this. If all your kids have these smart devices, and whether it's an iPod or, or it's a phone or it's a, it's a tablet or it's a laptop or whatever it is, it has Wi-Fi uh, abilities, Okay, where, what, where are they going with that? What are they surfing? What are they looking at? What kind of message? You know, I'm just telling you. You know, there are people in this area of Surrey. Not just, it's not just boys anymore, it's girls. Our sisters, our daughters that have received this message, overnight they've packed their bags and they've gone to join some, some warrior in, in Syria. It's already happened. It's unacceptable. So please take responsibility for the internet usage in your house. I know it's tricky sometimes. Everyone comes home, everyone's on their own device. Sometimes everyone's sitting around the same table, but everyone is in a different part of the world. Everyone goes in their room at nighttime, they're all in five different places. So please try to put some kind of measure of control 
on this, this is necessary. I'm talking, I'm not talking about what happened in Peshawar, I'm talking about what happens here in Canada. Because what happened in Peshawar, Alhamdulillah, we have a whole country that I know, the country of Pakistan is not going to sit around just watching and allowing it to happen again. We have a lot of very devoted and very sensible people out there who are going to do something. But over here at home, if you want to be able to survive as a Muslim, then you have to take some responsibility for that now. And it's getting harder and harder for people like me to explain to these people why this is happening and how it's happening. How many answers can I give? 